I think as amateurs, we focus maybe disproportionately on content rather than on presentation. I don't mean that we need to be more superficial. I think there's plenty of that already. What I mean is we become so involved in the content of what a particular YouTuber is presenting that we don't really pay attention to the style in which it is presented. And I think we need to do both. I think we, but we're, we're amateurs. We don't have any training in film critique, video critique. We don't know much about methods. We don't know much about equipment. We don't know much about lighting. I cannot see facial expressions. I can't detect gestures. And one of the reasons why this medium is so much more effective than forums and chatting and so on is that we have a way to see each other's emotional responses. And we need to keep that stuff in mind. It helps if we can look at other people's videos and say, now, why do I like this video as opposed to that video? Uh, a lot of times I prefer people who just talk from their own living rooms or bedrooms or desks or whatever, because I can multitask. I can listen to what they're saying, and I do listen to what they're saying, but I can get other stuff done in the meantime. Sometimes the very mechanics of the video get in the way of my being able to process it. Sometimes it's just a bad time of day. Or I expect that person's going to be a bit rambly or difficult for me to discern or perhaps too provocative. And I don't have either the patience for it nor the mood for it. I have this idea go through my head. I, I don't have the patience to listen to that. There are tutorials out there, <clears throat> excuse me, so that people can learn video editing, how to process content, that sort of thing. And I think that we need to encourage each other to do that sort of thing. The problem is that when we try to give each other feedback, because of the atmosphere of so much trolling and so much hate, so much, much personal attacking, so much negative, not positive criticism, we hesitate to leave any honest feedback because somebody's going to feel hurt, offended, or angry and personally attack us. So it's difficult to give feedback. I would only do it with the people that I knew well enough to know they were level-headed. Although I've had surprises. We can all do a better job. We Maybe we need to form a support group. Therapy for YouTubers. I don't know. You have to have your viewer in mind. Your listener in mind. You have to. You're working for an audience. Stay on topic or don't. And if it's a ramble, please let me know that so that I can prepare myself psychologically for what I'm about to hear. Thanks for making this. I hope they don't shoot you down for it. Bye.